We're back in business with the little Larrys that could, and then the bats are thriving on the tower. That's how you assert your authority. Yeah, that's what you guys wanted to see me play this Rascal deck. So let's go max out my Rascals to level 9. I don't know why I said max out, but let's upgrade them to level 9 right quick. Going to this Lightning Chest, we have a lot of strikes, right? So how does this work? I don't know how that works. I think after the cards are revealed? Okay. Did I screw that up? Okay, never mind. I was like, oh, so when do I get to strike them? I'm going to strike them until I end up getting the commons that I so desire. Please, let us be a little bit more lucky. I really just want the rascals, man. Don't do me like this. 12 seconds later. We're spending a thousand gems. This is disastrous, guys. It's not going so hot. Please just give me rascals. Give me rascals or give me death. Supercell. Don't rig it like this. All right. We're getting goblins and we're not getting rascals. Oh my gosh. Is this rigged or what? Am I going to have to play with level eight? <laughs> Ripperino the dreams. Oh, we got rascals. Okay. All right. That's solid. That's solid. We're not, uh, we're not striking any of that. Two hours later. We already started it, so there's no going back. There's no going back. <laughs> oh, we got rascals again. We are getting lucky this time. Let's go. All right, so I guess we're just going to use the five strikes on top of our epic card. Lightning. All right, we're going to lightning lightning. That seems really ironic. Please, we have simple needs, simple desires in life. Dude, I feel like this chest is so rich. Six hours later. How many more chests is this gonna be? The meme's OP, meme's overwhelming. All right, I have a feeling it's gonna be this one. Nope, I'm never doing this again, by the way. <laughs> like, if you guys tell me to max out a common card to level nine, it will never happen again. 2,000 years later. You know, Jake is actually gonna strike Rascals when he gets it. No, don't say that, dude. Don't, don't do me like that, man. Eventually. We got Barbarian Barrel, so that chest is actually going to be value. Not really, because I don't even care about that card. Okay. Whew. We did not strike them. We got them, man. And we got the Barbarian Barrel as well. So let's go max them out to level 9. Feel a little bit better about ourselves 4,000 gems later. <laughs> now we can finally play this deck in Grand Challenge, guys. This deck is busted. Obviously, with all the bait of the Skeleton Barrel, Goblin Gang... Bats, Inferno Dragon, and Rascals. This deck is prime for ladder and grand challenges. Oh, we're playing against Enchantin! <laughs> Saucing out the good luck to Enchantin. We're playing against good players every single time now. What is up with this? We're going to have to use Miner to get some utility out of our bats here. We need to get some value out of them. Oh, he's going to Rascals. Enchantin, you're a rascal, man. I'm going to log that. Wait to the last possible second, though. What you got for me, man? Got bait? Bait hog rider? Well, your thick boy is actually approaching my tower. I don't like that. I don't vibe with that at all. I'm going to try to fly as much pressure as possible. Just see what he has. I don't know. I'm not going to not gonna mess around with that at all. He's got some poison bait element. Does he have graveyard? With the, no, he's got hog rider. He wouldn't have hog rider graveyard. Well, thick boy is going to do you dirty here. Then we're going for Goblin Gang. We're trying to stagger our units so then he's not able to get some absurdly valuable log, right? Very important to do that. Okay. Could have went in for a Miner. I should have went in for a Miner. And then I went Skeleton Barrel off his lane. That would have been the better play. I definitely probably would have done... I think I would have done a ton of damage, honestly. Misplays. Misplays for days. Because now I have an awkward cycle after Psycho and Fur Dragon. Should have supported that with Miner and then Skeleton Barrel. Yeah. I guess we're going to do it anyway. This is just a more awkward push. I don't like it. Did he overcommit? No, he split uh, the Rascal, so he did that decent. I think we're going to have to eat a lot of damage on the right-hand side. I don't like it. Log will end up killing that. Wait, here's the real power of the Rascals. Let's go, man. Is he going to log me, though? It's just really freaking awkward. If he, like, pre-logged, that would have been disastrous. We would have straight up lost our tower, so... Oh, man. I, I, so, I so wish I didn't make that cycling error early on, man. I would have won the game, I think, already. 100% would have. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I'm gonna go Skeleton Barrel. And as I was talking about before, you want to go go do this. I'm gonna go for a Poison. You want the Skeleton Barrel to get targeted first by the tower. 
very important. Okay. He went for a log, so I didn't drop Goblin Gang. I knew he was going to log in that situation. I'm going to go in for a Miner. I think we caught the W, maybe? Please give it to Daddy. We, we have simple needs in life. We just want to take a tower. He's got a really fast cycle with Hog Rider Log, though. It's kind of triggering. We're going to try to apply more pressure because we can't let him. We can't let him dictate the flow of the game anymore, boys. He might actually just win this. He's going for a fireball on defense. I don't know why he did that. I think if we get Miner on top of the tower one more time, we do win this game. But do we have a way of dealing with that? He's going to go for a hog. He has to. Okay. Great log for me. Great value. We're actually going to cop this W. All I need is one Miner hit, and then we're going to take the dub with a poison. As long as Thick Boy doesn't do me dirty, which he's not going to. That was a very close game against the chat. I could have won it way easier. If I cycled a little bit better at the start, I would have won way easier. But that was a very close game, and he's a great player. So, oh, man. We're playing against good players 24-7 now, man. What's up with that? Oh, rough. Once a potato, always a potato. I'm going to go for Inferno Dragon. Then I'm going to immediately, subsequently follow up with Bats, and then Skeleton Barrel. So we're going to have to wait and see if he's running P.E.K.K.A. or what he's rocking. Yeah, so he's got Inferno Dragon. Might just be a cycle deck. He's probably going to have Zap with this instead of Log. Yeah, there's a Zap. Inferno on Inferno action, though. The fire is real. He's definitely going to have Fireball, so this is going to be a difficult matchup, to say the least. We're going to get a lot of utility out of our Goblin Gang and our Skeleton Barrel, since he doesn't actually have a great way of answering them. He's only got Zap, and he'll probably be using that on the bats first and foremost, so then uh, we can't drop that on top of his Inferno Dragon. I'm trying to drop that so he doesn't get Absurd Fireball value on top of the Boy Rascal as well, so I tried to stagger that to the best of my ability. Yeah, there he goes. He would have Fireballed my tower there, and he did get that value. It's not going to bats or anything. I have to wait for that to die. Oh, so unfortunate. Ooh, Inferno Dragon, a little bit of sizzle chip damage. We're going to apply as much pressure as possible since he ended up allocating a Ice Spirit as well. I think we're just going to spank him around. Oh, the Fireball! Dude, you got done dirty. Let's go. So now, since he used his Fireball, we can go in for Rascals. You just got to apply pressure when you know that their cards are out of cycle. After I saw the Ice Spirit, and he didn't drop the Ice Spirit on top of the Skeletons from the Barrel... I just went hard in the paint because we knew that he didn't have log, right? When they don't have log, you can stack up a lot of units and not feel any ramifications of that. He doesn't have fireball, so I can use rascals on defense and drop them really close to my tower and not care. You really have to identify their card cycle and play around that to the best of your ability. I'm changing up my defense and according to their card cycle every single second. So Skeleton Barrel is going to be breaking through. We're going to do a lot of damage. He went in for a zap, but the zap, as I said before, you got to zap... Or just, uh, you gotta, like, double, you gotta zap and NATO, or, uh, go in for a log to end up killing. Doesn't work like that at all, man. And no one ends up zapping plus NATOing. Yo, is that Fur Dragon? Or... Alright, we're gonna try to 3 crown him. For the meme, man, we're all about the memes here. Let's try to 3 crown to assert dominance to the fullest extent, guys. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I can hope. We can pray, boys. I'm going to go for a Skeleton Barrel and then go for Goblin Gang and go for another 3 crown push. 9 seconds remaining. He's going to Fireball just to play for his pride. But the Skeletons actually get on the map because he ended up going for the Fireball. I don't know. I kind of wanted to take the tower. I want a 3 crown you, dude. Ah, oh, whatever. Good game, X Pedro. I think he's actually a pretty good player. Is this like the real X Pedro? Yeah, that was the real X Pedro, dude. Oh. I didn't even realize I was playing against a pro player until I looked at it after. He's a really good player. Almost 400k cards won and 20 wins. Jeez, man. Okay, got it. It's B-Rad. Yeah, dude. I have all the pros or most of the pros on my thing. Oh, we're playing against another pro. Ace. Saucing out of good luck. Nah, dude. We're on stream. We're not tying you. Get out of here, bro. All right. Good luck, man. 
I guess this is late in the GC, so he didn't want to play me. Another pro player, so this will be a definite close match. I'm gonna go sauce out Rascals. He's probably rocking balloon. If I if I know Ace, he's rocking balloon. There's the fireball. Okay. Definitely balloon now. I'm gonna go for Skeleton Barrel. That should have been in front of uh, should have been in front of Thick Boy. Unfortunately, it wasn't. It's okay though. Let's see if we can get some extra damage, some extra sauce here. I'm gonna go for Miner. Who is he running? Lava Hound Balloon though, or is he running Balloon Cycle? Probably Balloon Cycle. The Giblins, the Giblins. Let's go, Giblins. More damage. No, he's got Lava Hound. All right. So this will be a little bit more difficult since he is a good player. I'm gonna go in for Inferno Dragon. Kind of want to go for High Rascals, so he doesn't get Fireball value on my tower. Kind of discourage him from doing that, right? Oh, look at those Rascals, man! Right into him. We're gonna poison because he's gonna zap it, right? I thought he would zap it. Yeah, he did zap it. Oh my god, the predictions! The predictions are real here, boys! That was unreal. That felt so good. Alright, we need to go opposite lane with Skeleton Barrel and Goblin Gang pronto. We need to get as much damage when he's low elixir and he doesn't have an adequate answer to this. I think we just might out, outright take his tower. No, he ends up dropping the uh, Skarmy, or the Tombstone. Hmm. We're still getting damage, though. Tombstone is out of cycle, so we can apply a lot of pressure opposite lane now. If he goes for a Lava Hound Balloon, he will not be able to cycle back to Tombstone. So we'll be able to take his left-hand tower, I presume, as soon as he cycles Lava Hound in the back. Who knows, though. I also want to kind of go in for, like, minor... Yeah, so minor bats. He's going to zap the bats. And then he still has to deal with the rascals. Okay. You definitely still have to deal with the rascals, right? Can I cycle back to bats? I think that's a play. I'm not sure if it's the best play, but I think we cycle back to bats in the nick of time. Oof. Oof, that was close. We're sizzling out here. We're going to try to take his tower with the gang gang. Inferno Dragon is still kicking it. We have to go in for poison. I don't know. This is going to be sketch, guys. This is going to be really sketch. Bats are on top. We're going to go in for Rascals. I don't know if that's going to do enough. Oh, please. Please. Sir. How much damage does that do? This is coming down to the wire, guys. I got to get a log on top and then go for a poison. This is really coming down to the wire. Oh my gosh, Ace, please. Poison, do him dirty. We need one Rascal hit. This is really close. I need it. Please, one more. Oh, no. No, the tick. The last tick. It hurts. It hurts. Oh. Crap. Well played. Right, so I see bats from Omega Dragons. I thought it was Imagine Dragons. I was reading I'm like, definitely Imagine Dragons, right? How many of you guys in the chat? How many of you guys actually listen to Imagine Dragons? Or is that not one of your favorite artists? I'm going to go in with a Miner. We're going to see what's up. He's going to go for Rogue Ghost, Ice Golem, Mega Minion. Probably going to be Graveyard with us, most likely. I'm still going to Poison. Then I'm going to go in for Rascals. Surprised he didn't go in for Graveyard. I guess he knew that we had so many answers. We have so many bait answers that if you actually go in, you don't have enough elixir to poison the Rascals off to the side and then the bats in the back. Like, you would just get screwed. Yo, Thick Boy actually got a hit with his club. I was not expecting that at all. He always gets so much damage. Or like a hit when I don't expect him to. I'm just not used to the Boy Rascal at all. He's just so thick, man. I'm going to go in for a Miner. Please target on top of the Skeleton Barrel. Awesome. So we're going to get a lot of chip damage that way. And the Skeleton Barrel. Ooh, little Larry's doing him dirty. Okay, so he's Zappies. Going for Inferno Dragon. He could Zappies me. But I think it's a little bit better than dropping a Goblin Gang. It's probably going to Zappies. I'll poison them if he drops them like that. Yep, cool. Oh, there's only one of them. Hmm. Still, the Inferno Dragon is going to give me more utility. I don't want it to get caught up on that. Please, Bats. Okay, cool. It's going to be a lot of damage for him, but it's not irreversible damage. 
If I take one tower, Graveyard is just completely and utter... Uh, Graveyard is completely and utterly neutralized as soon as I take one tower. So, I'm not too scared. I'm gonna go in for a Skeleton Barrel. I want the Skeleton Barrel to be hit first and foremost. Rogue Ghost doesn't actually stop my Miner. Miner still gets hits. Wait, what? How does that happen? I don't understand. Look at this Skarmy though, there's Skeleton Barrel. Tons of damage, that's a lot. Is he gonna poison my offense? Yo, he poisoned on offense preemptively. Yeah, he just loses. He didn't think I was going to use a defensive poison. He just didn't think it. it. Wasn't about it at all. I'm not a potato, man. Actually, I am a potato. <laughs> I can't even argue that. I'm definitely a potato, man. Doesn't matter. We're just going to cop the W with a minor. Just save poison on defense and you're not going to break through, dude. Like, you need the best RNG of your life. Simply not possible. Gonna go log to assert some dominance on that ice golem. And then go drop our frisky rascals right on top. Can you do a surround with rascals? Does it even matter? I mean, it doesn't matter. You want it to always like target Thick Boy first and foremost, so. We're definitely gonna go log the goblin barrel. Oh, maybe he finessed us a little bit. Nah, he didn't. I thought he juked us because he dropped it a little bit further in front. Sometimes that'll give him extra damage. We're gonna go cycle rascals. I feel like I can do that because he's just running log bait. There's not too many great ways of him punishing. And then he drops the giant skeleton. Was not expecting that at all. I'm going to rush opposite lane with skeleton barrel and then drop goblin gang. He's probably dropped princess. I'm going to hold my minor for it. You want to drop princess? Ooh, you logging out here. We're going in for bats plus minor. We're back in business with the little Larrys that could. And then the bats are thriving on the tower. He missed Barry. You cannot miss Barry the bat. He will make you remember that for the rest of your life, sir. I'm going to go Psycho Inferno Dragon because it's really hard to get value out of that in any other circumstance against bait decks. And it's going to incinerate the Baby Dragon, so a little bit better than Rascals. I want to save the Rascals because they're a little bit more robust against the Giant Skeleton. If you guys are picking up what I'm putting down, I can't let the Giant Skeleton, the Big Larry, Big Mama Larry, ever get close to my tower. She has dirty thoughts of getting close to my tower, but we can't ever have those come to fruition, man. So he's going to go in. Oh, he's got Sparky. What are those, man? That's insane. Okay. So I'm going to go cycle Goblin Gang. He's going to go for a log. Thinking about just dropping bats. Yeah, bats are the maneuver. And then probably going in for a surround with the Rascals. This is kind of be sketchy, right? Definitely going to be a little bit sketch, but... They aren't in the uh, trifecta Illuminati triangle for nothing. I'm going to go in for a log right on top of the Goblins, and he's not going to get any damage. Pretty clean defense. Just gotta build that pyramid with your rascals or whatever units you have and can't let that lock on. It's got Inferno Tower? Inferno Dragon versus Inferno Tower. Never been exhibited before. Let's go, guys. Also, he's got Zap and Log. So he should have a counter deck to me. He really should. But I think we're gonna finesse him. He doesn't have Zap and Cycle here. I'm gonna poison just for some extra chip. Just the chip. I can't believe this deck. This is so absurd to me. It, it is a counter deck, but it doesn't make any sense. It's got double spells and baby dragon. It's got a lot of uh, ways of cleaning up our support units or our squishy units. Sir. I think we're going to finesse him right here, right quick. Wait, is Sparky going to get it? Yeah, Sparky might. Nope, never mind. You're not getting damage, bro. Get out of here with those thoughts, man. Our defense has been really clean. He hasn't even touched our tower with so many moving parts in this deck. He has all the answers to us, but we've touched his towers in so many ways. An ineffable amount of ways. We're going to go in for a minor. Minor poison. I think we can just cop the W on a goblin gang. Yeah, we predicted, sir. And then we're going to go for our own goblin gang because he just sauced out the log. While the Inferno Dragon sizzles his tower. And that is going to be good game. Well played. And good luck in the rest of your challenges, bro. Yeah, so everyone that we played was pretty solid, man. Ex Pedro especially. Almost 400k cards. And Shatten almost 500k cards. So many Pro v Pro matches today, guys. Let's get it.